It's a journey of over 12,000 miles in support of America's wounded warriors and military families. The group behind the Patriotic Project stopped in Michigan today, and Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn has the story from Dearborn. It's an organization with a message, and they're taking it across the country. Today, Governor Rick Snyder recognized the efforts of the Spirit of Liberty Foundation. It's an opportunity to say thank you to the families for their sacrifices and their efforts, because it's an opportunity to remind all of us of the sacrifices they've made and they make on our behalf and to also find a way to reach out with support. The mother, sister, and wife of Marine Corporal Jacob Turbett of Canton joined the governor this morning at the Henry Ford. Turbett was killed in Afghanistan in 2010 in a firefight. It's a struggle, you know, because everything will remind you of him. So I will look at a flag and I'll start crying. So it's tough. Yep, and I don't know when it'll ever go away, being tough. Honoring fallen heroes like Corporal Turbett and supporting their families is the focus of the Crossing of America campaign. We care here in Michigan and we support you on a safe tour across the country. The governor presented a state of Michigan flag to the organization. Two official Spirit of Liberty Jeeps are leading the journey through 43 states and the District of Columbia. It will conclude in New York City at the 10th anniversary commemoration of September 11th. In Dearborn, Dave Llewellyn, Channel 7 Action News. And we've got more information on the Crossing of America and the Spirit of Liberty Foundation. It's on the homepage of our website, wxyz.com.